G'day YouTube. I just thought I'd do a video on a before and after picture of painting and what can be achieved with painting. Uh, this is a place I did in Brisbane uh, for about six and a half grand a couple of years ago. So this is what it did look like and this is what it looked like afterwards. So we had that bottom bit rendered and then um, repaired all the weatherboards and painted them, repaired all the damage. There's a lot of uh, dents and things in the weatherboard we repaired. Um, Here's another view here on the side, what it looked like before with the brick. It had been raised and then uh, they put bricks up underneath it. So we rendered the bottom and then painted the rest of it uh, white. And the colors sort of a, there is two different colors there. They look pretty similar. It's a slightly duller, dark color on the gutters and fascia. Um, so there's another one from the front. Um, so it's gone from looking like a bit of a dump to a palace really. Quite a nice home to live in. Um, it was about six and a half thousand dollars for the painting and the rendering was another, I think it was three grand for the rendering to the lower half. Um, one reason these are a bit daunting for most people to do themselves is the scaffolding. Um, people really don't know how to do these efficiently and cheaply. Uh, the scaffolding usually costs quite a bit. We use trestles as painters. It's a very cheap way to do it. We're using them all the time. Um, I wouldn't recommend using trestles and planks unless you're experienced tradesman. Um, otherwise use a scaffolding company and get scaffolding set up. Um, but you can see you, you do get quite high when you get up under those eaves working. But yeah, we had those planks um, about another two rungs up to do underneath the eaves there. So if you look at that, there's probably about a 10 or 11 foot drop from there to the ground. Um, so it is a little bit hairy if you're not good with heights and things like that. Um, but um, that's a cheap way to scaffold a house.